This is the raw life health show. Raw life. Okay, everybody, you know the song, This Is How We Do It? Well, this is how we do it here. Uh, I had yesterday for, for lunch or dinner or whatever you want to call it, my second meal of the day, uh, I made a juice. And a lot of people don't like to juice. Here I am using the Green Star Juicer, my favorite juicer. Uh, a lot of people don't like to juice because they say you're wasting all the pulp. And you see here, this pulp is quite dry because this juicer is so great. It keeps the pulp dry uh, and there's more juice that's why I love the green star juicer but here I have all this pulp so what am I gonna do with all this pulp well I usually don't use the dehydrator much these days unless I'm making food for somebody else but I figured I'd, I'd do something with this pulp and I could have done a lot of things I could have made a pate and and not dehydrate it and I could have just had it with a salad uh, but I decided I was gonna make something dehydrated so uh, I had an idea what I was gonna do but the first thing I did was I got my favorite raw recipe book, Dining in a Raw, by Rita Romano out, and, and you can see I've used it a lot. The pages are practically falling out. I've had this book uh, since I first went raw, but 20 years ago. Well, uh, I looked under the recipes for tasty dehydrates just to get an idea, and uh, I was going to make a sun burger. I didn't have any sunflower seeds, and sunflower seeds are in here. Now, you can change the ingredients. That's fine. Uh, for your own flavor and your own taste. Uh, but I saw this recipe here, pumpkin seed patties. And I did have pine nuts uh, and pumpkin seeds and tahini. I had a half a red pepper. And I don't do onions, so I left the onions out. I had a zucchini. And I, didn't do, I don't do brag, so I used some salt, some sea salt. And I actually have a, a fresh oregano outside growing in my garden. So I saw this recipe, took out the food processor. See, I was originally going to use the pulp but, uh, for the sun burgers, but instead I had all these other ingredients. So I took them out, and I decided I was going to make this recipe here uh, for everyone. So, so now what I did here, uh, I'll show you. Here's my dehydrator. I have the Sedona dehydrator. Uh, this one, here are the sun patties. And basically, uh, like it says in the ingredients here, uh, it tells you, uh, you put the, the two cups of the pumpkin seeds with either the tahini or the pine nuts in a food processor. And then once you've done that in the food processor, uh, you, you cut up the rest of the ingredients and, and mix them in. And that's exactly what I did. And after 12 hours, you turn them over and I turn them over. They're looking quite good, and, and they tasted great before I put them in a dehydrator. Now, I could have had them not dehydrated just as a pate, uh, but again, I, I, I want to make something interesting this time. So I made these little patties, and they're in the dehydrator now, and it's at 106 degrees I'm going. And then uh, I looked. So after I had that, I still wanted to do something with the pulp that I had. So then I didn't have... The, I didn't have the, the pumpkin uh, uh, for the sun burgers. I didn't have the sunflower seeds. But what I did have was walnuts. So I made walnut burgers. And I did everything else the same because mostly this is what was in my juice. I had carrots. I had celery. I didn't have scallions because I don't do onions. Uh, and I didn't have pepper. But I had basil and parsley in my yard. I don't use brags. I had some salt. So I just substituted really the, the walnuts. Uh, for my little uh, pulp mixture here that I had left over and I didn't need much only two cups of this and you can see there's here about four to six cups of pulp so I have more to do with this today maybe I'll make some crackers and bring them to a local party or something else uh, so and then there in a the dehydrator on another tray I have these uh, they're, they should be the sunburger patties but I'm gonna call them walnut patties because I didn't have the sunburger and I made them quite thick I used my hands only. I could have used something to flatten them better, maybe a roller or, or, or a shaper to shape them better. But I got two trays of, well, one, okay, two and, one and a half trays of that, and then one trays of the Sunburger patties. Close that up, and that's how we do it there. So, uh, so, that's, so that's what's going on there in the dehydrator. That's what I'm going to have. It won't be, it might be ready later this evening, but I'll, I'll probably have that over the weekend. Uh, I'm still doing my juicing, of course, so I'm going to have more pulp. And based on what I juice, I'm going to have different type of pulp. So you, this does not need to go to waste. Now it's the next morning here, and I have my smoothie. 
and people say, well, why don't you show us how to make this smoothie? Well, I showed people many times before how to make the smoothie, but basically you're just putting stuff in a blender and blending it up. And this morning I have in here tahini, which is sesame, uh, like a sesame paste. It's actually uh, right here. I have tahini. Uh, and then I have some tahini and bananas and some dates and possibly some berries. And then I have some vitamin mineral green. And I have some moringa powder. So that's what I got going on in this smoothie. And it's a little different, you know, depending on base what I have. So I'm going to have that here for breakfast. Uh, I got my lunch, but it's more like my lunch tomorrow in a dehydrator. Definitely going to have another juice today because right now I'm not eating salad today. I'm going to have a juice, I think. I got stuff going in my garden. And I, remember here, I just woke up in the morning and I'm going to have this uh, smoothie now. But I just came back from exercising as well. So I didn't just wake up and have this smoothie. I was exercising first. And I definitely recommend working for your food before you do these things. And while I'm here, you can see what I got in my kitchen. I got a dehydrator, which I said I don't use as much as I used to. I got my green star juicer, which I use often and I love. And then the thing I use the most is my Vitamix blender. So these are the things I have. And then of course I have the recipe book. And I wasn't really gonna make the, any recipes from this book uh, but today, but I decided uh, I was just gonna take the pulp and I know how to make a raw burger, and I was just gonna do it myself, but when I opened it up and saw that pumpkin seed uh, burger, it looked quite good, so I figured I'd make that. And I've made just about, you know, maybe 80 to 90% of the recipes in this book. For some reason, I haven't made that one yet. So, uh, so that's what we're gonna do today. And uh, I have here, right over my dehydrator here, and I'll show you another time, I got my supplements, which I'm taking, I'm gonna make another video about that. So that's what's going on today. So if you have any comments or questions, uh, post them below the video. And remember, you don't have to let the pulp go to waste. All right. Have a great day and a great raw life. Brighten up your life